That's how it be, man. Yeah, so... I'll also show, um... Cross Raiders, as well. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that, as well. The stream is live. Button slapping. What the fuck? What happened? Don't know my stick! <laughs> did you plug the stick in before you? Or af after turning BB tag on? Uh, I did, but it was on PS4 mode, and my PC hates that, so I switched it to PC mode. Sorry, and now it's just like, it doesn't want to do anything. Uh, turn off the game and turn it back on. Alright, alright. The, tri the tried and true method. We try yeah, turning yeah, it on and off That's again? what it is. Because... So I figured this out. When you have it on PS4 mode and you map the buttons, uh, and you switch it to PC mode, it's a different mapping. Beautiful. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's like, wait, this isn't A. Yeah, my computer just like doesn't like. Uh... It's a long story. My computer doesn't like PS4 controllers because it, it doesn't like my PS4 stick and PS4 controllers because it thinks it's an audio device. <laughs> <laughs> That's... So it sucks all the audio into whatever PS4 controller is there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate it. Now, uh, go into your sound settings and disable whatever audio device the PS4 is on. Because, like, I have a stick, too, that has an audio jack. And it's like, oh, yeah, do you want to listen to your shit through your stick? I'm like, no. Gross. Seth nine. Yeah, dude. What type of cursed bullshit? What do you mean? Sounds like good to me. Oh, I, learn it. I got a ping right in. Um, shiny finger. I'm gonna say, <laughs> yo, guns. Load up, king. Small bracket today. Yeah. Should hopefully go by quick. Knock on wood, cause uh. They've been in bracket before, but I don't know exactly. Um, I forgot who they were specifically, but uh, they're frequent flyer of Guzman's tournaments. Okay. Uh, I can figure that out. Hold on. Um. <sighs> uh, it's just Lon. They have a picture of Yukiko. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. Yep. They're one of the people that inspired me to pick up Yukiko. Oh, nice. I was going to say, you just did. Ooh, hey, thanks, Guzman, for the host. Perfect timing. Guzman's hosting? Yeah, yeah. Yo, nice. All right, so it looks like Rocket's final. Nobody else is injured, so. I'm surprised Kia was in playing. Hmm. He's 
he's probably working on his plaque. Ah, yes, of course. For the uh, <laughs> for the thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I like that player one is player, and then player two is player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do that all the time. Now, speaking of player, did you guys see those amazing shirts that Tino Media have put on uh, sale today? No. Is it, they, is, it, is it the Ares one? Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a couple of Ares ones, but like basically Tino Media launched like a shit ton of stuff today they launched like five new podcasts and like a network and like like a website and all this crap but they like launched new merch and it's like a six panel anime comic of faces that mark men and Eris have made on commentary yeah. at the finals last year it's freaking hilarious yeah i remember seeing that shit at evo i was like dude i want to buy that but like i i, I backed off super good there's also a really good new harada shirt which is like kind of powerful. I almost bought it. When do we get Atkins and Chief Former to drive through podcast? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be the best. I, I, I honestly don't know how well that would go. <laughs> that would go great. I don't know how I would get the drive through tech going. You'd have to get your old mic. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd also man. have to be commentating from my car. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That makes Bruh. me go. <laughs> Thanks for the host as well, Scrub. No problem. Enjoy my zero followers. Hell yeah, that's what matters most. <laughs> Yo, Guzman, I have a question for you. What What is your obsession with Harada? When do you even play Tekken? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask, honestly. I, I've never seen Guzman play Tekken. Mm. I mean, it's just it's just an honest question. Want to explain that, Guzmo? Okay, so bracket is live. We will have Atkins and Drogs up first. Yo, yo, dang. Yo, yo I'm dang. On Trogs! <laughs> Alright, uh, quick sound check. Everything good on, uh, on the viewers at home, then? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Connor for giving me the tech to turn my bitch ass up. <laughs> <laughs> the window settings were all good now. No one's calling me fucking quiet motherfucker anymore. It feels great. <laughs> and I can still call you that. I mean, you could. You'd just be wrong. <laughs> oh, would I would not be. Fast. I would. I wouldn't be wrong if I turned your volume down. Ah, uh, but then that's a subjective quiet motherfucker. It's not an objective quiet motherfucker. It's less You're respectful. Right. You're right, you're right. Good, good, good retort, good retort. Astute try, try, observation. Try. Dude, <laughs> we can, Connor asked who are we shooting? I just responded, yes. Everyone. <laughs> Dude. Dude, get in. So in the meantime, while we're waiting, um, you know, we're all like lying here on the floor in the lobby and all of that, but you know what you can do in the meantime? What's that? Contribute to the bracket pot by going to the Matcherino link in the chat right now and putting in the code WNFO17BBTAG. And you will contribute 50 cents to the pot. That's showing on screen right now. Yeah, yeah. And also, you can make a direct donation as well, or, you know, you could also do a bunch of these quests that add a couple cents to the pot as well. Or, if you want a little something for that, you got a marketplace, you got Girls Frontline keychains, charms, with essential quintuplet charms as well. And one of our sponsors, Kaiten Books, also has a few 
manga available. One of them being Shedeskin Ryugasaki san, and the other one is Loner Life in Another World Volume 1. So, oh. Kaiten books. Special oh, thanks to Kaiten books as well. Um, they also have two releases coming up. One of them being My Dad's a Queen of All VTubers, and the other one is Uza Made Our Made His Way to an They are coming soon. Let me grab the dates real quick. Also, special shout outs to Danger Time, another SoCal online local. They're focused towards anime games. Next one is on July 25th. If you want to sign up, please they feel will free be to having you. They will be having a Max Boost on uh, beginner tournament going on, I believe, this weekend, correct? Yo. Nice. I remember seeing that on their Twitter. Uh, so I don't know if that was, was updated, but definitely keep an eye on that. And also, a special event happening this Friday, July 17th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, is Cross Raiders. We will have California versus Nevada in a 10v10 exhibition. Uh, it's a live system, correct? If I remember correctly? Yes. Yeah, so the way it's going to be style? working is everyone has two lives. Um, we're going to be putting one player against the other. As soon as that player loses one life, the next player will be put forth in the uh, in the next match. And so on and so forth. Okay. And then it continues until there's only one team standing. So definitely look forward to that this Friday. It'll definitely be an event you don't want to miss. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, can we get this party started or what? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to beat myself. <laughs> so first match today, we're having Trogs 93 against Kraken Atkins. Using, um, I'd say not their main teams at the moment. You know, Kraken Atkins has been refining his Yumi Yukiko while um, <clears throat> uh, Trogs is no stranger to the uh, Heart Adachi. Has been playing this team for a while as a sub team. All right, here we go. Five minute intro. Hell yeah! <gasps> no longer five minutes. <laughs> um. I wanna who press the button. Who, who, who a button. I wanna say Cal Calvin did because um Atkins likes having the intro round just to tilt people at round start. I mean <laughs> pre-round start. Alright, he's locking down with the fire there, five beats. Oh! Hopefully he hugged that out of there with the back there. Oh, nice oh, that is gonna be chunk, he's gonna go in, level up. I'm already at level eight. eight. Um, use all of the meter that uh, Atkins had available, so... Um, I'd say it's a pretty smart decision because it's still very early in the match and it's, you know, paying off. Dutch is already dead. But this could be Kelvin's uh, chance to get things started. Ooh, I think... I don't know, I would've, I would've mashed there. I don't think Atkins would've been ready for the cross under. Good time to burst. I mean, a uh, good time to pop resin, but getting opened up right there. It's timing. Game one, going to Atkins. Looking pretty strong, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately for uh, Trox, wasn't able to get anything started get with the Dachi. Actually, I don't even remember Dachi doing anything aside from eating a burst combo, <laughs> and then just the EX yeah, to Augie. It was like one bad burst, and then he just never got to breathe. Atkins was on him, like, you know, just that entire that entire life. Yeah. Sakura rain down. I think, um, I think Jogs is like, yeah, screw your intro, I'm not watching this crap. Oh, let's go! <laughs> That was a good option, but unfortunately the Phoenix uh, just saved Yumi right there. I'm actually surprised that uh, she didn't armor through the rest and shoot out a love ball. The bots coming out from Calvin. Ooh, not like her JC though. Oh, Ooh. nice. Oh, unfortunately oh, not able to confirm. Are you supposed to do B punch? 
Ooh, you're getting opened up. Oh, so can't play here. oh, nice. Active switch? Oh, no. Oh, but the holding cancel. He's so big, Bray. He's so big, Bray. Let's go, Cross. Good see. Uh, I guess, yeah, cash me out completely. I would have kept you going 60 meter. Oh, nice. Come on, grab. What are you doing? Did you blink? Go for another. Yeah, I, I agree with the burst just to make sure that any mix up that would have been available just, you know, not deal with it at all. Oh! The mashing! The mashing! <laughs> the mashing! Ma <laughs> oh, no. Maybe, uh, I think Trogs might have gone for a super or something? Oh, gun? The 2 and 4 super would have worked. Yeah. I don't know if he did a uh, punchy super has. Back home in? Oh, oh no! Oh, chunk. Almost 9k. Yeah, for a second it looked like a good situation for Trogs, but now it's um really rough really for Trogs right now. Alright, just gotta calm down, Calvin. Just gotta calm down, buddy. Chill. Good, good DP. DP. That was risky. Gun, as hell, but it worked out. Gun. Gun. Oh no! Another orb. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Uh, okay. I was about to say, Calvin, please go through the astral. I was like, he's got no meter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so thankfully, uh, Trox was able to keep their composure and just uh, stay in it because that was, uh, <laughs> that was scary as hell. No, yeah, that was a little scary. As soon as uh, Atkins started getting the ball rolling. The one one. A little, it's a little iffy for Calvin towards the end of that match, but luckily he pulled through. Sakura rain down, though the bow be unshaken by a Are we getting the full intro? Press. I don't know who's gonna press it. Who's gonna press the button? <laughs> so I remember talking with Atkins about this. He said that he specifically likes using the. Uh, English Yukiko and Japanese Yumi because it, it doesn't rhyme. Yeah, it doesn't rhyme and then also it's like two different shades of orange so it looks atrocious. So like he's trying to bring about that mental damage at the beginning of the match and just like he has a point to say, God these colors are hideous. He's trying to bring the disgust. Calvin, um it's not gonna kill me get to get to free Oh Ooh! Oh why'd you jump away? Nice. Oh, unfortunately oh, on the other side, but just a raw 5B, I like it. Bowman cancel. Getting the combo. Getting a nice 7.5k. Going high this time. Oh my god! Ooh, that was so good. That was, that was a dominant game from, from Calvin. Yeah. yeah. So solid work so far. Um, Really turning it around, especially from that first game. I think... um. Uh, Calvin got a little warmed up. Yeah, I definitely think that, uh, the Trogs has a better feel on what, um, what Atkins wants to do in neutral. And kind of his game plan. I, I, I like the fact that both of them are sticking with their sub-teams. You know, Atkins not switching even though this is the last game. Probably having some oh, faith yeah. or just wanting to go through the growing, uh, pains of winning a new team. Mm -hmm. Ooh, messed up. Oh no! Getting hit by the DP, that's bigger than it looks. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sandwich. Yeah, Calvin likes going for that a lot. Um, just delay, like at the end of the combo after the 5 BBB, he doesn't do, he delays the 4, uh, no, the 2 one four, or 2 3 6 B. Just yeah. to get that uh, interesting cost of situation. Yeah, I was like, watch out for the cross up. Oh, nice burst bait, but no punish. Oh no. Yeah, I guess was trying to go for the uh, X switch aerial raid, but uh, did it a little too soon for it to hit. 
Good jump. Oh, bad TP timing. It's a good punish part, uh, good part on Atkins to punish that. I'm just trying to bait a burst right now. Um... Oh my god! I love you, me! No, <laughs> dude, Yukiko was reeling back for a good second there. You got it. Oh, They're both healing up so much now. Yeah, I like the option right there, but um. But yeah, Atkins was ready for the AZU. Just, uh, or the BZO actually with the uh, Scorpio assist. Mm. Oh, same situation. I was blocked by um. Not dead? Good. There's a good boost. Yeah. Agnes had no meter but has a level 7 Yukiko, so this might be a little rough. A little too far for that for that to connect. The BZO locked down. Get in there. Oh my god. Oh, no. No holding cancel. Oh, first punish. oh no! That was so smart! No! Wait! Oh, that was such so, a so hard fight being go all the way. Oh no! Oh, There's it. A... Yeah, yeah, so hard. Okay, okay, chill! Alright, that this could be it as long as um uh Trox faces his plate. Oh no! Yo, is that a dropshin select? It's a dropshin select. And and that's that's it. That's uh that's the set going to We won going over to Trogs. Nice showing. Both of them using their sub teams. Um Yeah. I uh I don't know if it's I, I like the fact that Trogs is using a hard Adachi team rather than uh Akiko Yumi. So, it's that's always nice plus. to see. Yeah. Damn. The the pillars plus? Yeah, so. Well that's this character's done. What do you have up next? Bro, that's so dumb. Why is it plus? <laughs> plus how much? Uh, Mansa versus Lon Lily on stream. Alright, let's see. I mean, let, 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 let's be real. It, it does take a while for it to come out. So if you're blocking, like, you have a while to think about like, oh, he's throwing out this move. Might as well, you know, punish that. But. You know, if you gotta block that, you gotta hold that. I, I, I definitely think Itachi deserves to be on plus, given how long <laughs> that move takes to come out. I matched. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 6 for 5 <laughs> Hey man, I res respect, respect. <laughs> Get ready. Alright, so... Long Lily, a, um... I know they're a frequent flyer of, um, Guzman's tournaments. And yeah, they their team or Yukiko, they have a lot of uh they have a lot of sauce with this team. For sure. Definitely uh, surprisingly, another Yukiko in the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> of a seven person bracket for a VG Tag Tournament in 2020. So cool to see. Gonna be going up against Mason with the My Yumi team. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! You can stop you know, this could be seen as Mesa fighting one of his uh, old demons. Uh, Lon is playing Ori, eh? <laughs> A little bit, right? <laughs> oh my god. I felt like the last one saw was Mesa playing fighting an Ori as well. Wasn't that, that was the Glint Ori, eh? Yeah, that was. That was the Glint. Glint formed a CBD. Oh my god. Ooh, very good use of the. My fight team. Alright, nice shake Funny. jump. Alright, sandwich. Oh, it's hit by the He's trying to stabilize it a bit. Lot already building a 6 Aki stack on Yukiko though. Is this TP? Oh. Oh no, the rush of it didn't connect! What oh. happened? I'm surprised he didn't go into the, uh, Mize 2 and 4 TP. As far as I know, uh, the, uh, the 236 super it does more uh on hit like raw. Mm. But I'm not Yeah, I agree, I agree with you in terms of like having that backswing blow property. Alright, and that'll do it. So Mesa be able to clean it up with the Yumi. Not really have to deal with the Yukiko stacks as well, right? Uh we didn't really see uh any like resident stuff happen. Yukiko down went down first, which is a good goal to have when you're going up against her. Mm -hmm. Get 
Yeah, it definitely was a bit back and forth on both ends, though. I think they're just kind of uh, trying to fill each other out and see how each other's play. It's creating a lot of uh, weird burst scenarios. <laughs> I definitely think that Mass has a good amount of Yukiko matchup knowledge, too, given he fights Podge a lot in, mm. in the brackets. Honorary SoCal. Honorary SoCal Podge. Ooh, yeah, good DP, yeah, getting both of them. Oh, nice. Go for the Yumi 6P, the classic. Going high, oh, wow. safe jump. Oh, and the throw, going directly into super. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be money, so Ori is going down. Mason is only taking a sliver of chip damage and some damage on Yumi. <laughs> That's a 5 A's. And a, you know, 2 one 4 b and a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, oh, that's 4A. 4A. Alright, nice confirm here. Oh, okay, interesting. Gotta spend some bar on the confirm. Oh, I didn't want to go into super. I guess it would have been scaled. Back flip. Yep. Very oh, smart. Oh, oh, yeah. Brain on his big brain. Yeah, I definitely like the attempt. Uh, the good thing about it is that you're not pushed away even though you have to trade for the hit. So Yukiko can't build any additional stacks. Mm. That hit on the counter counter hit J was enough to allow Yumi to <laughs> just fall up on her 5P right there too. No, yeah, I was wondering. I was like, damn, that was a lot of uh, a lot of counter hit stun for a JA. Yeah. But I guess it's J A is probably my best air to air, considering J B is the spear and J C is like a kind of lunch. So. Yeah, I think the JC is a little bit slower. Reach is pretty far, but if you want to do like a pretty like fast air to air, it'd probably be J. Mm. And race up too low. Um, yeah, Juan hasn't been able to get anything started recently, so hopefully uh, they've been able to feel out uh, Mason's team a little more and make something happen. Mm. Yeah, I guess the win condition with this team is Lon wants to play mostly Orie centric neutral and definitely get confirms like this, right? <laughs> uh, but essentially, yeah, kind of build you keep those stacks in the back line of the process. Oh, I think you missed a DP. Yeah, I think so. Kiko is in now. Active cross combo. Ooh, I think that was a miss input. I think that was supposed to be Phoenix. I accidentally got 4P. I think so, yeah. Uh oh, oh I tried to call something out. Um. I want to say that was a miss input. Yeah, maybe they. I'm, I'm guessing they might have like fat fingered something like. Oh my god, nice. Ooh, good punish. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. Almost had to confirm. Oh, oh I like the shitty attempt. I was thinking maybe Lon was trying to go for uh, EX Divine Thrust, but um. Just uh. Yeah, maybe a fat fingered uh, the B button as well. Nice bait. Oh, I can get it Long's kind of getting started, man. Seems so. Building up some stacks. Yeah, I like this combo. Look at that. Six stacks in the middle of it, too. That works. Very nice. And getting the super as well. Wait, okay. Ooh, but a happy birthday. All right. Oreo fall out, but Yukiko is still in danger here. Probably can't kill with the super. Gotta go for some type of Oki. Oh, yeah. Oh, DP's out of situation. Save Yukiko. Oh, oh and killed my. Getting really anxious here. Kind of wanted to just fish for the kill. Oh, oh try to be yeah. a burst right there. I respect that. Oh, yeah, it, it's gonna cost him. Yep. I'd say that's like one of the interesting cases with Yumi is there's like there's a pretty clear burst point, but like um I feel like that that was probably the best time to like beta burst is because after the five BB they go into Rekka, and unless you have an assist you really can't do anything to punish uh an incoming burst. Mm -hmm. So I like the idea on Mesa's end, but I also like that Lawn knew about that as well. Yes, yes. So yeah, Lon putting one up on the board. Definitely a nice, um, just knowledge of the character and the team as well to pull off that combo. You had zero stacks and was able to end it off with six. Yeah, that was, that six was stacks. definitely really sick. All right, going into game four. Oh, here comes the Phoenix. Ooh. Oh, what the jump cancel the 5 AAA? I guess. What the hell? It's a uni character, man. Yeah. They can jump cancel on it. Oh! Couple oh, overhead there. Oh, yeah. oh, the 
50. Oh yeah, jumps and baits the throw. Gonna be carrying to the other corner now. Okay. Oh, yeah, again. that very nice uh, jump setup that Mason has. Alright, Lon slowing things down a little bit. Ooh, but just to jump over the fan. Mm -hmm. Spin the cash just a little bit. Oh mm. That was a reset. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Right. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh no, another happy birthday! What? Oh, my my gosh! <laughs> We'll call the Phoenix in the back with the perfect Orie actions to make sure both will save in the combo the entire time. That was sick. And so Lon taking it back pretty quickly too. So hopefully um so Lon's gonna take a reverse sweep back or basically can keep his composure and uh you know, stay alive in uh, the winner's bracket. Mm hmm Yeah, we'll have to see. These uh, last two games have been pretty uh, good for Lon, pretty convincing as well. So, um, see if Mesif can fire back. We definitely have seen uh, the progress of Mesif's team, and it could be quite explosive. Um, so, definitely see if he can get some of those uh, mix ups started and everything. All right, game five. Oh, there we go. Activate this sandwich instantly. Yeah, look, no confirm. Ooh, oh, look at that the... Who knows? You keep before P able to save the day. A Phoenix hitting, but no confirm on Lon's in. Keep the pressure going, build to Phoenix Sacks. Oh, jumps over the My DP to avoid the air unblockable. Oh, no. Fortunate drop right there. I know um, after the uh, EX uh, 236 or 266 you could get a. Um, you can get a follow back during the corner, as from what I remember. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little too late. Probably didn't believe. Going for the reset. I don't think that's really the over. Oh, oh wow! Absorbed the first hit, but not the slam, which is kind of interesting. Is the first hit true not the projectile? I guess. Well, oh. maybe. Oh, that was so that was so cool looking. Yes. Oh, nice! Oh, that's a oh, that's a massive technique right there if I've ever seen one. <laughs> that's low pad, bro. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, oh, you think the force function. function? That was really good use of the Phoenix of force function for you. Let's not save some setup a little bit. Interesting. Right. Oh, yeah, first. Not the worst first. Saves my and just ends the uh, sandwich situation entirely. Oh, Jay Blade, that's a 5B either. hit. Yeah, Lon has a little bit more health and definitely the meter advantage. Sniping, just trying to find any hit. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I don't know what that, that uh, EX projectile was, but... <gasps> oh, oh no! Just a ton of damage on the Phoenix. Just the rod thing with the 9 stacks doing 4.4k to snipe both characters to give Lon the win. 3-2 over Mason. Mm. I think what Mesa was trying to do is contest the Phoenix with EX Snowbird, but you know, fire beats ice. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I respect the attempt because it was a really ballsy play, and I know that there's like varying levels of durability between projectiles, so it might have worked, but it's still too hard of a call to, to tell. Yeah, especially with, you know, Yukiko sitting at the nine stacks, you know, those phoenixes hurt. <laughs> and yeah. Mason was on a pretty low health, so a valiant effort, but a good comeback from Lon being down two, able to uh, bring it back to 3 0, or 3 2, sorry. All right, so up next we'll have uh, Scrub versus Trogs. Yeah. Right? Cool, cool. Home and cancel homies team kill. I don't have homing cancel homies, but me and my homies constantly donate the free 50 cents to the Matrino every week, and you should too. 
if you want to be my homie, you would just use the code WNFO17 BB tag, donate that free 50 cents to the pot if you haven't already. Uh, be sure to stop by. You know, the free 50 cents always helps week in and week out. These are the virtual pots we've been using for these online tournaments so far. Uh, if you want to do a direct donation, you're more than welcome to do so as well. Uh, and if you want to receive something for that donation, be sure to check out the marketplace. There's a couple of things that we have, such as uh, Girls Frontline Keychains. And of course, always shout out to Gaiten Books for making uh, Match Reno and supporting, uh, or making the Match Reno possible and supporting us in terms of these tournaments. They got two books up there. Check out uh, Little Life in Another World, Volume 1, and Chet That Skin, Ryuka Saki-san, Volume 1 as well. And so yeah, check out the Match Reno. There's a couple of uh, Twitter quests, follow quests, and a uh, subscribe quest on the side as well. Yes, sir. And also, if you're interested in supporting Kaiten Books a little more, they have two more books on the way. One of them being My Dad's the Queen of All VTubers, and that is set to release on July 24th. And Uza Maid, our maid is way too annoying, set to release on August 7th. Also, special shout outs to Danger Time SoCal Distancing, another SoCal local that's specifically geared towards anime fighters. This week, they have Rambo Fantasy, I think BBCF, and BB Tag. Um, and also, they plan on introducing M Bond into the, um, to the mix. So stay tuned, follow their Twitter if you want to join. Wrong slide. Alright, we're good to get started? Yes, sir. Alright, I go deaf and mute. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, this is a team kill. Um, looks like uh, Trox is getting a little more serious with their main squeeze, and this is a new team that Scrub has been uh, recently trying out. I know they've been working on their uh, on nine for a bit, and I know they have. They basically have like a pocket set. Very cool. Yeah, I haven't. Um, yeah, I, could use I know Scrub plays oh, yeah. or at least messes around with an array of characters, but nine kind of shocked me. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't She's seen Scrub go to nine before. Uh, Seth, I definitely seen Scrub uh, pick before. So, seeing this team come about is interesting. We should see uh, what Scrub's able to do with it. I know. Um, yeah, Scrub has been. Um, I mean, he's been trying yesterday. I mean, as we saw, like, he was just, like, uh, playing against, uh, ISO with his team. But, I'm interested to see what he's, uh, been working on. Alright. Yeah, the 6k. Not going for, uh, any of the, uh, 9 loops, just casting as much damage as he can. There we go. Get the burst. Ooh, nice anti-air. Just wasn't able to confirm. Still finds the 5B here into the other corner. Yeah, just casting nice. as much damage. Okay. Oh, a little bit of a chunk right there. A little bit. Still maintaining the corner pressure here. Yumi 5P. Oh, the door Ooh, kick. Overhead. Wow, and the little by little uh, Oki type of vortex situation the Chalk is setting up there was pretty. Uh, Pretty good. Unfortunately, Scrub able to escape from it into the other corner now. It's Scrub's turn. First is punished. Is there a confirm? No! Dropped by Scrub. Hit by 5A on the other end. Oh, the war picked up, but Scrub wasn't ready! Missed 4P! Oh, it's tough here. Oh, no, we're getting the rain. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and it was all just an elaborate plan for a phone still, apparently. They caught up right there with the 214 being active switch. Oh, wrong Ooh. super. Should have gone yes. into laser. Yeah, but oh, the set yeah. orb still stays out. That's so cheap. I hate it. Let's call right, with the. Nothing. Yeah, bug tapper. Yep. Gotta do it. We got a 1v1. Akihiko versus Seth. There's the orb. Punches out this time. Oh, cross up. Ooh. Nice. That is scary. One touch left. Ah, there it is. A little too antsy on the anti air right there. And Scrub will be taking game one. Yeah, good effort on Chaz's end to try to bring back with the solo Akihiko. Almost had it. It was just those pesky orbs, man. Seth's cheap. <laughs> But yeah, this the Seth Nine from Scrub. I can definitely see the vision. I I mean, I just tried playing Nine about like a month or two months ago, so I definitely know the awkwardness it is to try to get her combos down. 
Um, but the buttons are in the right places, and I definitely see the plans that he's trying to set up with uh, assists and spells, tagging and stuff and everything. Looks pretty cool. Think you can take a punch from these fists? I just think, um, that, you know, a lot of us in SoCal are just moving around on teams, and, uh, I know that Seth 9, the team is extremely good, but I can't tell you what makes it so good. I mean, as we've seen, it's pretty explosive. Oh, got the thumbs up and a little bit of meter, but... Ooh, just walks up to C, okay. Wow, and really abusing, um, oh... Across the 5B there, a little curse. Really abusing the fact that Trox doesn't really want to push block 5B or any of the pressure here. Oh no, yeah, that's... Yikes. That was so cheap. Yeah, Scrubble basically able to take that with a lot of uh, the 5B pressure into the um, fireball. Ooh, matches out this time. All right, into the corner. Plus. Just wanting to set though, but they're just uh, not wanting to deal with that at all. Yeah, Trog's definitely not out of this uh, with level 1 Resonance Yumi. You know, both of Scrub's characters are fairly low, and Trog's trying to hit in Resonance. Oh. Ooh, there we go! Oh, just wasn't able to bring it down in time in order to cancel on the super. Still damage on 9, and she's down! Very good for Trog. Scrub has a resonance of their own though. Good throw tech. Goes over again. Yeah, I like the presence Ooh, of mine also from um, Trox to go for a throw, whether it uh, connects or not. Oh, are we getting an Astral? Yes, we are. I thought oh that was going to miss. I thought that was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Trod's almost able to bring it back with the Soul Yumi, just wasn't able to survive the Resonance Seth. And yeah, I think, um, really a big, uh, kind of hindrance in that match was the 9 uh, in the early game, right? The, uh, Akihiko on Trod's side lost so much health, just really, uh, basically just to 5BB into, uh, level 1, 2, 3, 6, A, the, uh, projectile. And just following it up with some Seth assists, uh, might need to do some push blocks or essentially try to uh, jump and find a way to escape to avoid that situation again. That did a ton of damage. Yeah, I think one of the... Um, I think the main thing that happened is just that uh, Trogs has unfamiliarity on when to uh, take his turn. Because there's a lot of hesitation and I know that with a lot of characters, most if not all characters in the cast, can punish a uh, 5EB into the like uh, little plasma ball that 9 has. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's either that, like, with or without meter, they have a way to call it out. Because it's not free. Ooh, I very nice uh, call on the end here there. Alright, Tron's zoning it out. Yeah, yeah nice punish. Alright, what's the mix? Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, it looks like uh, Scrub may have tried to tech or just running for it. <laughs> we'll never know. Oh. Yikes! Oh, no! Okay. Yeah, it's all good, all good. Yumi can clean it up. Cross up 5C, let's go. <laughs> Cross up 5C that stays on the same side? Yes. <laughs> Alright, well Trod is rallying back, uh, cleaning it up a bit, definitely able to make a better um, work of the 9, and yeah, that was looking like a clean game on the board. <laughs> Scrub going for the... <laughs> Scrub's not even playing Rock, no, but he 5 he five eight his, his router. <laughs> he can't control it. Oh. You know, he, he doesn't have the Ragnar on screen, so he needs to... Embody Ragna. <laughs> He's gotta find a way. You know, just like you know, like at this point, he subconsciously put the Tims on. Like he, he doesn't even know he has them on, but he know, like they're there. <laughs> he is Tims. Whoa! Oh. What a round start! Yikes! My gosh! Tried to definitely got the better of that exchange, but that was nuts. Oh! Just... oh. Run out of it. 
Seth's health bar just going down. Hagiko being one of the highest damage characters in the game, just making it worse. For real. Good throw by uh, Scrub here, pushing the drop combo, but has a sandwich. Good defense on Troxen, gets the first. Oh, I oh thought that was a combo. That was yeah, crazy. Same. Oh, right, jumping out. Oh, that was sick. Time. And what a nice confirm. Yo, Trox? Yo, on Trox? On Trox. Oh, tried to bait the burst. I like the presence of mine. Scrub not biting, though. All right, this set pressure. Over here, didn't load. Cheap. Yeah, a little bit of a panic burst, but it worked out, especially because Yumi is extremely healthy, and Agihiko is about to go back to about 50% health. Ooh, and that's gonna be a good meter? Yes, sir. There we go. Oh, just called uh, Akihiko a little bit too early there. It's all good. Nice oh, try to go oh. for the Jolly Kim! But still not converting to a full combo. Yeah, I guess the jump forward fist. Scrub. At level 3, called the seed. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> is unblockable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye, BB. Oh, the timer. Ball. Did she do anything? Nope. She did not. Just chip. Oh, that almost worked, but the Kasa. What a nice active switch mix up, and Trog will tie it up 2 2. Oh, really? I just got warmed up, too. A worm? Just got <laughs> wormed up too. <laughs> so Trog's out here, man. Tied it up 2 2 against Scrub. And definitely, uh, I can see the adaptations, right? Fighting against 9 better. We talk about the 5 BB into the projectile. We saw uh, Trog's jump back and throw the 2 2 6 C and get that nice confirm off with the Akiko assist into the Yumi Freeze and active switch. That was really good. So it's all showing much trogs, just uh, uh, keeping that composure. I think it's also like because um, Scope isn't finishing his plate when it comes to some of the combos that he's doing with 9. So it's kind of hinder hindering a lot of the potential damage he could be getting. Yeah, I'd definitely say so. Um, I think a huge thing around that, right, is not only are the combos not being finished, but there's no knockdowns. And so with that, if you're stuck in midair with 9 uh, and there's no like type of knockdown, I can see that being really just awkward, uh, just given like how the character works, you know, having to rely on teleport, just finding a way to land and keep people away. Um, so, yeah, I can definitely see that being a hindrance. Oh my gosh, cross up! Oh, Best guesses. In a sandwich? Orbit set up though, needs to be careful. Yeah, just a tag, active switch. Oh, good DP, hitting on both sides. Right. Yes. All right, Scrub has the kind of little stuff. A healthy nine. Oh, and here could not confirm. Yeah, all these uh, drop turns with Scrub on nine. Like, I feel like he has the right idea on a lot of things that nine is supposed to do, but just not being able to confirm on combos and or, uh, and finishing them is really uh, hurting him. Right, and I mean that can definitely be a, uh, I would say that could definitely be a make or break thing just given OP and damage potential because Nine can definitely like uh, shoot out some damage. Yeah. And Nine has a bit of a vortex on her own too, uh, especially uh, coupled with an assist that makes it that much stronger. Very true. Yeah, because I'm no stranger to playing uh, square and bracket at WNF and uh, yeah, like some of the OP that he does, especially in the corner, is just one of the most terrifying things. Oh, yeah. Ooh! A little too late on the 5B there. Nice defense. Alright. Scrub needs to make work of this Akihiko because this level 4 resonance can turn ugly really fast. This Five could be the world. end of Seth. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh no! no. It won't be! Commentator's curse! I'm sorry, Calvin! Alright, this won't kill, but you need to get right out this mix. Oh, oh no, the phone the steal! Phone still is that game? Yes, yeah, it sure. will be. Scrub putting two phones on the board and able to take a 3 2 over Trogs. Close game though. It was cool to see uh, Trogs adapt and uh, was almost able to bring that back. Uh, but just the phone still, the power of the phone still. <laughs> Seth9. What a scumbag. <laughs> That's a scumbag team.
<laughs> yeah. You know, I, I've thought about, um, I've thought about playing 9, maybe because of the Selga 9 intro. Shit's adorable. But, uh... Um, oh yeah, that one's pretty good. But, like, it works nicely for Selga, but for, like, 9 can't really benefit that well off of what Selga can do in terms of assists. Dang. I think Square told me, it sounds like he tried this team out, but... Apparently there's, like, one major problem. Is that when you, like, the main thing to burst, uh, punish burst with, um, when Selga's in the back is their 5p, obviously. And apparently, if 9 gets smacked, she can't recover in time to get a full combo. Like, it does, I guess Selga's 5p doesn't launch high enough for 9 to come back and... Yeah, it doesn't work sometimes, so... Yeah. I hope it's not just me, but you did sound a little Robo E30 there. <laughs> is it my connection? No, um, I heard it too. I heard that. Oh, okay. Listen. Okay, yeah, it looks like I had a bit of a hiccup. All good, all good. So it looks like we're moving down to the loser's bracket and getting Lon. No, 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 we're still in the winner's bracket. Uh, Lon versus Josuke? Seems so. He is currently in Guilty Gear, so give him a minute. But so, yes, that will be next match on deck. Right, you got 60 seconds, Josuke. Not a literal minute, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, I'm just messing around. <laughs> nah, dude, we're not a literal minute. The timer sucks. No, don't. But you know what only takes a minute to do? What is what that? that? Go going to the Match Reno page, using the code WNF017BB tag, and putting 50 cents into the pot for free. Whoa. Yep, that's right. So definitely be sure to stop by, do the free 50 cent code. That's gonna be WNF letter 017 BB tag to donate a free 50 cents to the pot. Always appreciate it. Check out the sidebar as well. We got the Twitter quest there. Shout outs to Manscaped. And a couple of other brands as well, but that's the only important one. Let's just be honest, right? No, 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 no I'm just kidding. It's all hey, 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 hey. You're forgetting about Titan Books. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course, shout out to Kaizen Books. In fact, if you really want to support Kaizen Books, make sure to check out the marketplace. They have some books for sale, right? We got Loner Life from Another World, Volume 1, and Chad That's Genvi and Kasaki San, Volume 1. You get a good book and you donate to the pot. Good stuff. And uh, be sure to check out the Girls Frontline Keychains and um, just a couple other stuff in the marketplace. It all helps out the pot. Or you just do a direct donation. It's all good. But don't forget to check out the Macharino. Yeah, yeah. And since we're here still waiting for Josuke. Also, who's the main? My dad are made his way too annoying, and my dad's a queen of all VTubers. Coming soon. July 24th and August 7th. And also, quick shout out to Danger Time. Another SoCal online local that are geared towards anime fighters. This week they are Grand Blue Fantasy, BB Tag Singles, and Blaze Blue Central Friction. And also one more time for those who have not um, seen it yet, but I hope you're free this Friday at 7 because there is a SoCal versus Nevada 10v10 Cross Raiders this Friday at 7 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Yeah, yeah, come by, check it out, see the finest of what... Whoa, whoa, wait, did you say SoCal versus Vegas? I mean, California versus Vegas, I apologize. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 every, every, like, most of the people that are on, um, that are on the team, they're honorary SoCal. It's all SoCal. Yeah. Always has been. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, Benny and, Benny and Blue are, are they're SoCal. I agree, I agree. You can call him Benny because he's your friend. Yes. Yeah. Red sub. Yeah, it's gonna be beating me to it. <laughs> oh man, I can't, I can't use that command anymore. <laughs> yeah, Lon is right. Northern California is just Southern California, but north. You know, if you keep going down from Southern California, eventually you'll end up in Northern California. So technically, it is just an extended part of Southern California. 
Yeah. Yeah. What, what really is south? You know. Yeah, exactly. What really is north? I mean, north is just really far south. When you think about it. It's not wrong. I mean, <laughs> it's not entirely wrong. You know, in the same way that uh, you know SoCal claims Japan as a as a, in its entirety. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go check see uh, what the status is on Josuke. For sure, for sure. I knew my fifth grade geography teacher lied to me. <laughs> okay. So wait, then what? Uh, how how do you get an accurate globe then? Well, I mean like. Uh... I mean... You don't. It's not real. Yeah, you actually can. Would that mean that you would need infinite globes to... Well, no. Uh... <laughs> no. The Earth is flat, globes are lies. The Atkins, I think you're overloading the single brain cell. We, they're, you're still in the tournament. Scrub is still in the tournament. Who from SoCal is still in the tournament. They, they all need it. Don't burn it out too quickly. No, I need to figure out the Earth. If the Earth is flat, then we have like, let's say we have a rectangular poster on the board, but we're in Southern California, we keep going south, we'll eventually end up north, but the graph is ending there, so we need to put a graph below, so that we have Southern California eventually leading into Northern California. But what if we go the opposite way, and we're going up? Then we have to put a graph above to make sure if we go north from Northern California, we're eventually hitting Southern California. But then what if you go past Northern California of Northern Northern California? I think the Earth is infinite. So it's not that the Earth is flat, it's that the Earth is infinitely flat. My name is Kraken Atkins, this is my TED talk. Kraken Atkins? More like Crackhead Atkins. <laughs> Fair enough! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You're, you're, you're looking into it too much. SoCal is SoCal, and that includes Northern California. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks like the set's almost done. Sweet. <laughs> Connor, I just hope you have fun Australia because he was afraid he'd fall off the earth. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to be afraid though. If he just keeps going west, He'll enter another poster, and then he could come to California. It will be fine. Yeah, it was right. GC Yoshi, Neanderthal, Yogi, Blue Sub, all are SoCal, and Podge, especially Podge. Yeah, fair enough. You know, what was right, it? East, East Coast can uh, have Texas. Then uh, <laughs> we take Japan. Then. Yeah, we don't need Texas. All right, just gets on his way. Sick. In fact, GC, Yoshi, Neon, Ryogi, Blue, and Podge are all more SoCal than me. I'm so SoCal. There's the there's the so SoCal team as well. I'm definitely team so SoCal. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Connor also definitely a part of that so SoCal team. That's something something. I feel like there's been a point in time where, like, we've tried to enforce propaganda of different characters aside from Ragna onto SoCal. Well, the majority of them have died out, and, you know, Ragna is still the multi-dimensional constant in SoCal. It's the tried and true. I remember there was the uh, Yosuke initiative. I mean, like, hi there was, a, there was a hide run as well, but that seems to have fallen off. There was Weiss Coast. Yeah, there was Weiss Coast. Mmm... But in the end, where does it lead you? It all comes back to boot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yo, call see him up in three minutes. Oh, I, thanks for tuning everyone. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright, well, we are getting uh, Lon versus Dong Force, Lord Host of Dong. Oh, and he's in here. Oh, God. Oh, snap. Who let him in here? The invader. No, he's in the commentator thing, is Wait, yeah. there's security in here. No, no, no. They're gonna, they're actually gonna, I'm gonna get on my clap by massive again, I'm calling it. Chill, chill, chill. It's like Twitter it. security, bro. Everyone got hacked. Verified who? Yeah. You don't, you don't have a blue check mark, you're good. <laughs> that was crazy. I didn't notice until somebody put it out. What, the, uh, the Twitter hack? Yeah. That was the epitome of silence, brand. <laughs> oh, you got moved? But, I mean, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, like I said, let's put the security. We let this guy in here. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the uh, bravery from Josuke right there to just go with the 5 AA and just believing that'd be far enough to hit Yukiko in the back. <laughs> what? Is he typing in the Twitch chat while he's playing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, he can't be stopped, dude. Yeah. You're not gonna let me commentate? Alright. So fucking Chad. Oh my god. Man. Yo, he's chill. Yo, that basically just kind of invalidated the level 4 resonance chip right there. Yeah. I mean, he kind of stayed in the same spot for like 10 seconds. Oh no, it's, it's a little too low. Oh no. And that should be it. Yep. <laughs> Dang. The nine hours yeah. with the five bars, but didn't ever do Miragi die. Damn, bro, Josuke got that. That's two wins, bro. Not only did he, 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 he won the match, he typed mid match, bro. That's two wins. That's too much, is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just the can't audacity. believe he had the time. <laughs> dude, you know how fast Josuke types. Yeah, dude. Have you seen that, man? You know he's playing that one, like, that one typing racing game? Get ready. God. What a monster. Are you typing racing game? I, I, I have a preemptive, uh... I'll, I'll say this preemptively. Josuke doesn't steal phones. He won't. I believe it, I believe it. He just wanted to talk with the bros. Mm. Did... Where'd he go? What do you mean, where'd he go? He got kicked out! Yeah, but like... I don't see him in... He vanished the shadow realm. Wait, did he get- hold on, did he get banned in your chat? <laughs> no, no, he didn't get banned in my chat. Oh, he's just- Oh, okay. Okay. Now I was just trying to find him in the SoCal BB Tech Discord. I, I, I mean, I can change that right now. I mean, I can- I can ban him from the chat. Don't do that! <laughs> no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. If anything, I should probably Dude. give Josuke a gun. I have the gun right now. I have the gun right now. Well, whatever's going on with Josuke, he's like, he's not having any trouble in this match so far. Uh, I feel like Wallace is trying to get a lot of things started, but it's just not working out for him that well. Right. Get this punish. Uh, I think he could kill. Cross rig? Oh no. Yo, uh, side swaps? Wallace stealing the corner even though getting hit. Alright, this could be a uh, Lon's chance to get things started. Ooh. Getting hit high. Oh, but just wasn't able to confirm to a kill first with the first punish. Josuke unfazed, just has a sliver to get on this Aurier the, the residence. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh the Do it again, do it again. You got this. I believe in you. Ah, uh, wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Aurier, the anti phone still it. Damn, dude, I would have I would have done it right after the first two. So I'd been like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I was like, do another one. You have three sticks of butter. <laughs> I think it would have worked. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Or yeah, DP probably would have jumped out of the way in time. Get ready. Damn, Gwinty playing PG tag, we're not entering WNF. What are we doing, mm. Gwinty? Okay, swear we're we're calling out, bro. Can't escape from crossing Dang, just gonna expose the Steam friends like that. Gwinty status. <laughs> hey, that, that was square. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, no. <laughs> this is gonna do like 10k. Yikes. Yeah, things just kind of going from bad to worse, unfortunately. Oh no. 1.2k off. Probably wasn't yeah. the right starter. Oh, but using the, um... It's a decent bro. Yeah, 2 and 4 AB to... Yeah, just like not there. Yeah. 
big deficit, but a good hit to land. There's an Oki. Oh, and a hit! Oh, oh did nice. not go into the raw super, but still gonna get a burst punish. Either way, I don't think it would have killed. Right. Alright, Oki. I get one. Like, IP is just in jail right now. No 5C. Money. Oh, God. Lana punishing the raw tag. Oh, but oh, the God oh, 5B? That was really lucky, actually. <laughs> wow. But yeah, Yukiko be going down solo Ori, level 4 resonance. Oh, the counter hit confirmed? Yeah, it's gonna go into first full damage. Activating resonance, he's gonna passive health regain. There's a sliver on the hide, but he's out of there. I'm waiting for this EX to find thrust. Oh, a nice confirm. And that's Maybe gonna be a dead Rodna. Alright, head is back in, level 2 resonance. Blonde, pretty healthy, doesn't even have to worry about Astral. So I think uh, Josuke is gonna need like 2 or 3 hits in order to sell this. Mm -hmm. It depends on what they are. Right, so he's slowing it down. Josuke is trying to get a little bit more health, make it a little bit harder Ooh. for Lon. No confirm there, the meter's gone on Lon's in now. Ooh, he nice. one of those hits. First and out. This should be it. That's super. That'll do it. Two hits is all that's needed, and Josuke will be taking it at 3 0 over Lon. Ragnar, so Cal's mascot. Do I give Josuke a gun? No. <laughs> right. Absolutely not. Alright, I'll give him, I'll give him an ultimatum. You steal a phone tonight, I'll give you a gun. Oh, I can see the insta shutdown. She said no. Dude, can you name look, can you name every twitch.tv slash ready30 moderator? Can you name every single one? Me? Yeah, yeah, hang on, let me look no, at the not, mod not, list. Not E30, uh, Scrub. Yeah, hang on, let me look Actually, at the mod list. Actually, you do E30, can you do it? <laughs> uh... <laughs> it doesn't matter, I love them all. Oh my god, I think he can do it! He can't do it, he's to love. You sound like my parents, bro. Uh... <laughs> They're my favorite. I love all my children. Oh, okay. man. Okay, buddy. Cliff. <laughs> you know he plays favorites. Man. Do I pick favorites? No. Because they they all have the same accuracy when they shoot. No, no, my my what my, my parents say is like, do I like my left hand more than my right hand? And like you have three children, this does not count. <laughs> <laughs> and clearly, I'm the middle child. You do not have a middle hand. Yes. Machine gun raiding. Alright, oh. up next we'll have Massive versus Blackie Chan. Uh -huh. Or Trogs. Trogs, my mistake. Oh, who? Redacted name. Alright. Both of these two had uh, pretty close winner sets before uh, moving and losers. I think they were both two threes. It was Massive against um, Lon, that was a super close set. And then uh, Trogs against Scrub, that was a super close set too. So now they will be going up against each other, both with Yumi's in the back, too. You know, I keep that Yumi on me. Stay strapped. You know, I keep that motherfucking team. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm always packing that heat. Yes. Well, the, the ice. <laughs> always packing that ice in this case. Ever heard of ice burn, bro? A freezer burn? Ice burn? <laughs> Get ready. Yeah, I have, I have heard of freezer burn, Scrub. I haven't heard of ice Get burn, ready. though. Freezer burn's the worst. That should be fucking up my frozen burritos. <laughs> that I don't eat. Oh, sure, sure. Burn? Yeah, you just keep them in there for uh, freezer space. It's, uh, it's for guests. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you over here cooking yourself some homemade shit, and you're like, oh yeah, you get the frozen ones, eat shit. <laughs> Microwave's right there, I don't even know if it works. <laughs> I mean, El Monterey, what's up, man? That's high class. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, game one. Did that hit behind? You think it did. Yikes. <laughs> what the hell? 
Okay, Mason getting stuff started. Going low on the safe jump this time. Alright, I'll keep it too low. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh no, that happened again! Still being able to get the punish though. <laughs> Ooh, the Yumi Mirror? Oh, not for long. A very good sandwich mix there from Trog. It's coming in handy again. Oh no, me math. On both ends. Six <laughs> Alright, so we're going for a ride. Here's the Oki. Oh yeah, it's a double overhead. What? Oh, missed time burst apparently. Yeah, Mace is ready for the punish. Takes down the Akihiko. Okay, that was a pretty good resonance actually. Oh, going high. Yikes. Alright, well Mace is going to be able to take game one. And um, yeah, just try it's a little bit unable to recover off of the uh, corner Oki. Yeah, Mass has that on, on lockdown, man. Yes. The team really fits him, man. Ever, ever since he picked it up, like, it just definitely seems like a uh, really strong pick for him. Mm -hmm. And each week, you know, week in and week out, he's definitely like, getting stronger with it. I see Mace has Aurier and his icon. <sighs> Come on, boss. Can't let it go. You know, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you have this week because you did, um... Oh, wait. No, wait, you got sent to lose by an Aurier. Yes. <laughs> you gotta hold that. Get that icon off. Mm. He lost his chain. He got chain touch. I wonder if he just slayed through that. Possibly. Oh, that was so smart, but at the same time, that's pretty good double punishment. Thankfully this time both of them are staying in it. Oh, this no. is not good. That is a hella kill right there. Gonna do this one. Yep. That hits both too. Yup. The other super. Oh my god. That's goodness. a little 13.5k. No, that's not that <laughs> amount of damage. Y'all can't go do that by himself. Yeah. Oh, I just... I think he tried to throw there. Yeah, yeah I... Um... Yeah, I get when when I play Monkey when Monkey was using this team uh, more often, I always get thrown off by that. It's like, oh yeah, the active switch is coming out, but their um, the main thing that you do is just uh, like two three six B uh, with Yumi and then active switch into your partner. It's like, oh, you don't see something coming out right away, so it's like, oh yeah, let me press a button and then you just eat three snowbirds to the face. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah, it happens all the time. Alright, so going into game three. This is game three. I believe so. Cool, cool. Oh, good sway through. Yeah, a little bit of an even exchange. Another even exchange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice block. Oh, I guess it's going to be as well. That looked like it was a throw counter on a throw. Don't block this to throw. That dreaded Oki. Alright. Empty to jump low. I take those. Yeah, we'll get the first punish. Oh, this is gonna suck. Yes. Not spinning the bar. Ooh, but just gets the jump speed. I actually think you can too. Yeah, I'm not sure what the confirm up that is. Oh, 5C. Uh, it's trying to stabilize the neutral here just out of this corner and get some pressure and momentum started. He's sniping Aki. I know what Calvin wants to do. He's trying to use sick key Aki. Hopefully, Akihiko gets behind him and then he just does snowbird or something. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we won't get to see it. Yep. Go so these confirms. Alright, uh, won't quite be a confirm. Yeah, wasn't able to call an assist, but we have Loki. Good block on the low. Oh, but just the dive down will do it. Alright, good stuff to Mason with the My Yumi team. Moving on.
Yeah, the room just kind of seemed uh, tough for Trods. That Oki is like so cheap. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> essentially, it's uh, setting up a amount of block stun, and, uh, you know, Mason just kind of gets to jump in with um, Mai and threaten overheads and jump low. And then you can even possibly, like, you know, cross combo, then the mix up and everything. Mm -hmm. Cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. Up, next, up next, we have Lun Lily versus Kraken at Kings. Oh, snap. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, oh boy. Sick. Um, I'll be back. We got the Yukiko mirrors. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, we have a Yukiko mirror tonight. Um, I never thought I would hear myself say that, even in 2.0. But yeah. here I am, saying it. Interesting. Um, I'm interested to see on how uh, on how this will work. As we've seen from Lon before, that they do have a nice uh, combo that incorporates at least six stacks for Yukiko. And then on the other hand, Atkins has just like the easy way of doing things by just, you know, Aerial Rave, Active Switch, and Yukiko. Um, I think your mileage varies on how many stacks you can get. So it'll be interesting to see. Sakura rain down, though the bow be unshaken by a breeze most brisk. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! I'm going to solo unit here. I'm trying to play a little more defensive and Juan going on the offensive right away. Nice combo. They're still both in there. Oh, that's so sick! Unfortunately, um. A huge first play. Oh, Hack is no. getting hit with everything right now. I'm gonna say, becomes another happy person. Oh no, beat it first. Good read on the DQ. Yeah, Hackens has not been able to get anything started right now. And this might go into. Oh no! Ooh. But 8 stacks anyway. And Atkins at only doesn't have any right now, and a sliver of health left. Oh my so god, smart. that's so smart! <laughs> yep. Oh, is that a call-out too? Damn, Atkins just looked completely outclassed in Yukiko Mirror right there. Yeah, so getting right into it, I think Atkins is uh, pretty insistent on sticking with this team. Who knows? Maybe if they uh, if they lose another game, then they'll um, they'll switch over to their main squeeze. But I think I think the theme for Atkins tonight is just to stick with this team and just deal with all the growing pains that go along with it. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Ooh! I didn't want to be the first there. Uh, probably why he didn't confirm off his five BB. Yeah. That's that's like the like what, when you go into a five B with Yumi. Um, five BB is the only thing you can jump cancel out of uh, the five BB stuff. Mm. So. I don't disagree with Atkins to burst right there, but I feel like he seems to peel out like, Lon's tendencies a bit more. Mm -hmm. And as we've seen from um, a previous match is that Lon knows a bit about um, decent burst points <gasps> with Yumi. Oh, got the air dash back. It sucks. The yeah, right point? there. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a dead you can tell. If he doesn't drop his combo. I feel like he could have gone a little more if he went for a 5B, but he's trying to keep it safe and trying to reset a situation maybe. Right, 
Nice defense on the double overhead right there. Gotta eat this mix though. Yep. Just Atkins is just, you know, in a situation where it's just, he just um, was completely lost on what to do, but still sticking with it. Get ready. Yeah, I think he's really dedicated to, to learning this team. He's been having a lot of fun with this one right now. Sakura rain down, though the bow be unshaken by a breeze most brisk. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Oh no. I I, I don't disagree with Agus just trying to, you know, get as much damage as possible, but that Phoenix, you know, just smack him in the background is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just... Oh. He's gonna be careful with that now. Oh, yep, just fell right into the pillar. Just turn off with the same thing. Ooh, I think he wanted to hit him into the 4P. Some big brain stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Yukiko 6P neutral game going on right now. <laughs> it's like, alright, I'm gonna throw it out, and it's like, once the FPX is gone, I'm gonna throw mine out. <laughs> no, it's my turn. Yeah. No, yeah. Mom said it's my turn to throw out the, the Phoenix. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn to control the neutral. <laughs> Yeah, Yumi going down against the solo you go at seven oh. stacks, but a sandwich. Force function? Oh, that would have been so sick. I would have gotten hit. I would have gotten hit, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has to fight those, and that should be it. Yeah. Damn, Lon taking it. Rio over Atkins. Good stuff, Lon. Very strong showing today. Yeah. Alright, looks like we have a run back. Ooh. On versus Mason in the loser semis. My gosh. The layers of the neutral game in that match are so deep. <laughs> he did Phoenix, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what I could do. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Mom said it's oh. my turn out to the Phoenix. <laughs> no, shout out to Lon, that was sick. I was just like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why are you really doing it too? Though, if you could time, or uh, yeah, you could time your Phoenix to the point where Yukiko kind of like ducks under her Phoenix and you dodge the other Yukiko's Phoenix. Man, I don't know. The layers, the layers are too deep. <laughs> I've gotten a, so. <laughs> Let me tell you my story with Yukiko Mirage so far. I've done two. One of them was a Batista Yukiko, and like I got like freed up. But then the other one was somebody that was using um, was it the same in our team? No, it was a uh, it was Salika Yukiko. And literally, like, we played for like the first twenty seconds, and then they just stood full screen and started healing, and I started healing too. But none of us attacked for one hundred and sixty in game seconds, and went to a draw, and then they quit. And I was like. I enjoyed this. <laughs> so... <laughs> nah, it, it's like that thing uh, between like phone tag saying like who should hang up. It's like, no, nah, you you take your turn first. No, nah, you take your turn first. <laughs> yeah, we did that for 160 in-game seconds. <laughs> I was pleased. Ooh. Oh, oh no, 2 be there. Try to be the first of that 2B. Going low this time. 50-50. Nah, you can react to that, man. <laughs> I mean, you could. I was looking at you reframe data. You know, they are a couple of different cards, so you could theoretically just fuzzy guard on every record. No, what I do is, um, so I just hold down back against all Yumi stuff, and I react to the, uh, 
to the over here to Icicle, so. I think either way you could DP it, or super, with most characters. Nah, dude, I would not DP that thing with Dragner. Knowing you could go, she's gonna recover from nothing and punish me for like 16, 18, 20 k. Yeah. Alright, fan pressure. Right, Mass is doing a good job of like, not really letting go get any stacks, kind of being in their face the entire time. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Right up this way, Oh, Ooh, the drop. Ooh, trade? The flip? Oh, oh, oh my god, really trade with the Persona? Oh, nice yeah, patient by Mesa. Yes. I think DPing was probably the better option. I think he could probably... Uh, he probably would have still been hit in mid flip animation, so DP's the best option. Right. But yeah, Mason taking control, taking it easy, and uh, yeah, was able to make pretty quick work of the Ori and played around Q, Q Kiko pretty well too. That was an interesting trade though on the Yukiko super, and uh, was it was it my two and four C? I think yeah, it's two and four, so yeah. Wild. Alright, well, game two. AC massive. Rushing down already has pretty good uh, screen presence. Ooh, but the Phoenix has better screen presence. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Going for the classic. DP assist. Oh, it's okay. Ooh, oh, okay. where did DP come out? No assist needed. Oh, good. Oh, that was oh, a really nice snipe. Very type. nice call out. Oh, there we go. Jumping above the persona this time. 6k punish. Just gonna hold this mix. Never mind, maybe. Oh, yeah, switch. That's gonna be a punish. Knockdown. Oh, I think he missed the back dash. Oh, that was man! I can't believe Mesa blocked that. Only an Orie player <laughs> could block that. <laughs> Is he an Orie player? Yo, Orie fundamentals Orie coming through. Oh, Hello. nice throw break. <laughs> I mean, a throw bait. Yeah. Oh, it's here. That's a hollow burst, baby. That'll do it. Good damage immediately. Oh, here comes the super. Yep. Yes. <laughs> oh, he clipped mine. Oh, oh yeah, but the pillar. Yo, just How, just. How does it feel? You gotta block low in the air. No, I think the uh. Oh wait, was that the first hit? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm Actually, wait. Why am I seriously replying to block low in the air? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was such a nice call, but not enough. Oh, oh the classic. Yep, that, that's the classic with with Maz. Just five C, dude. It's too good. It goes too far. And like when she goes in the air, it looks like she's jumping, but she's not. She's just propelling towards you with an overhead. I can't tell you how many times I've been hit by, you know, me teching out of the corner from Massive's mine, and he just five C's to catch me because I'm like, you know, that, that shit goes like half screen. Like, <laughs> same Z's. Like, it just should be illegal. Yeah, and, and the thing is also like Massive's overall like play style is that he plays like a very like. Pace, like relaxed style, and every now it's just like you don't expect it. It's like, oh, he just did a 5C. I've gotten hit every single time. Oh, the attempt to snipe up you, Kiko, but just a little bit off. Lon gonna get this corner advantage. Oh, is this a 2C meeting? Yikes. I think Mass is gonna be on the other side. Uh, yeah. Especially since Mon didn't back on that for the uh, safe OP. Or the usual OP you see. Get her out? Oh, yeah. Why are you contesting? What are you doing? Oh, oh nice. Wow. I tried to go for a reset. I like the idea. Oh, that was nice. How do you even block that? Uh, no, you're super. Uh, you, don't, you can't even react. That was guess. I, um, I, I like the fact that you use like 5v2 yeah, to yeah, try and bait first. Like oh no, oh, oh. still call him out! Yeah, she was sniped on the backdash! 
Uh, she threw a fan too. Oh, I see. Okay. I think if it was a regular back dash, she probably wouldn't be fine. But since she threw a fan, uh, that's what made it punishable. Oh my god, that's so active. But me mash 5A coming in clutch. Finish your plate. Yes, you are. Is it gonna kill? Yes. Yeah. So Mason getting the uh, that's a three zero victory, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Three zero victory over Lon Lily in the run back. So good stuff. That's gonna move Mason up to uh, lose his finals. Oh yeah. Right top. Oh yeah. It's a <laughs> I'm like, what? We're already in top three. Yeah. I guess yeah, so. Dude. Pretty short bracket today. Cool. Cool. Small bracket. Very small bracket. Top three is secured. We have Mason winning in the lose bracket. And next match should be Dong Force, Lord Host of Dong versus Dong. No Faith Shrub. I think he's in Guilty Gear right now. <laughs> All we know is that he's not here. <laughs> yeah. yes. He's doing some other shit. I can confirm he's not here. Let's see, where is he? You know, while we're waiting, if you want something to do, um, I'll give you something to do. You can donate a free 50 cents to the pot by using the code WNF017 BB tag. No cost to you, just a free 50 cents to the pot. Um, you can also do a bunch of quests on the side, like, um, for example, just uh, fill in a survey on Manscaped or follow Kai 10 books. There's also stuff in the marketplace. Um, if you want a little something for your donation, you don't want to make a direct one. Uh, there are girls' frontline uh, keychains, uh, quintessential quintuple keychains, and one of our sponsors, uh, Kaiten Books, has a few books available. One of them being Shed That Skin by Yugasaki san, and the other one being Loner Life in Another World Volume. And stay tuned, because that is not the last we'll see of Kaiten Books for this year. And it's coming pretty soon, actually. Uza made are made is way too annoying, and my dad's queen of all VTubers uh, set to release on August 7th and July 24th, respectively. Also, a quick shout out to Danger Time, they are also a SoCal local, geared towards anime fighters. And uh, the next one will be on the 25th, and they have BBCF, Rambo Fantasy Versus, and BB Tag Singles. So, follow at the Danger Time if you want to keep up, if you want to participate, as long as you're in the Qualified regions. Hope to see you there. All my breath. <laughs> Damn, did you do that all in one breath? <laughs> For the most part. Wild, man. Okay, so Josuke says he's currently in a losers. Uh, you know, he's in losers bracket, and he's doing a losers run in Guilty Gear right now. So, uh, I'll give him. I'll give him like seven minutes. I thought that would buy us enough time. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me, Square. Um, so yeah, Lone Life Volume Two is also out. It's not on the marketplace, but it is on their website. So it's right here, several places. Uh, like you can buy it off of Amazon, uh, Google Play. There's a few places, or you could buy it directly from their website, as far as I know. So yeah, check it out. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Commentating, playing in a tournament, and playing a call with this, this needs to change. <laughs> this needs to change. <laughs> See, I don't know what the uh, Coliseum times are, but I remember Connor was giving Mason a hard time about like putting Coliseum at 8 o'clock. Man. So, I think it's we might. Hard. Have to... It's hard for me because <laughs> I commentate three tournaments a week. So it's yeah. like. <laughs> Three days out of the week, it's like, man. <laughs> Yo, somebody, somebody play me. All right, let's see my keyboard warrior. Let's go. Fuck, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm about to blow my wrist again. <laughs> 
let's do this. Oh wait. Yeet! Alright. Let me get my pocket box out of the way so I can actually rest my hands. Get ready. Get ready. Are these my buttons? Nah. We'll go with it. So yeah, we are currently waiting for okay, I'll let the intro rock. Um Waiting. Yo, thanks! <laughs> I appreciate that! <laughs> no one does! <laughs> ma ma mainly because I have to type something, <laughs> update oh, something for thing. Let me tell you, you have plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can write like a short story while I'm doing this. Oh, Celica's intro is super short. Hell, oh, like, he's here! No! No! no. Damn it! You know it's too much! <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, what? Oh, shit! No! Shit! Oh god, no! <laughs> I didn't even go for that! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I got crossed up. Five B two B is under night B. <laughs> no! Oh no! <laughs> I tried to do something. He had to do it. <laughs> oh god! I I like panic so hard early on the keyboard. I was like, wait, what are my buttons again? <laughs> like where? Like like when my hands are resting, I'm like, wait, I think I pressed the wrong button. You're better than me. I definitely can't play on keyboard or hitbox. It's, it's impossible. <laughs> I tried. I wanted to cheat in Tekken. Bro, Get cheatbox, ready. just do it. I can't. My brain be like, it's time to jump. And then my thumb be like, oh, worm? Just like, <laughs> and it does just, not happen. Just use it for a week. It took me like, that's a lie. It took me like a month to get used to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then even at like anime extension where I wanted to be like consistent with it, I was still like, <laughs> I was still kind of like sucking with it. I was like, ooh, if, if I had if I had my pad right now, bro, I'd be doing voice land cancels. <laughs> That's the thing about like switching like controllers. You have to commit in order for it to work out. Because I didn't always play stick. I used to play 360 pad. Mm. And then like next gen got announced, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to do this forever. Because I didn't know a bricks converter existed. So that's yeah. when I switched to stick, but it took me a few months. But it looks cool when you have a stick. It's true. Back, that's the way for my 5C. Hell yeah. Do you, know how, do you know how cool I look when I pull out a hitbox? I'm the only hitbox player at WNF. No! What's that thing? <laughs> you playing fighting games with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I didn't think my persona was gonna break. Am I dead? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no! Yes, oh, it worked! No. I tried to tell it, but she didn't die! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Yo, eat this 6.9k. Hey, man! Yeah! Uh, uh, right there! <laughs> <laughs> it's been flattened! Yo, he said it! <laughs> Cursed hours. This is what happens when Josuke plays other games. Oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that the fucking Celica 5P killed. <laughs> Dude, like, I don't... I don't... 
either she lived with a magic pixel if my Miragi died, or like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. But I didn't, didn't even want to punish her. <laughs> I look at her health bar, I'm like, yo, she gets burnt up. She's like, nah, I'm living. Playing on keyboard's fun, but like, last time I did this, I, I played for like three days straight on a keyboard and it just blew out my hand. But I can't do this often. Do you have it sitting on a desk or do you have it like on your lap? Oh, uh, it's on my desk. I see. Oh, it crossed up! Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Akatsuki. Oh, no. Akatsuki staying in it. What? Oh, my God. 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 I would have seen him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, the <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the first time I've like away from me. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I can't tell what that was. Do the fans have a big hitbox or. Is Selga's hurt box is just that big? No, Selga's, Selga's hurt box is pretty jank sometimes. Like, it's giant. <laughs> I just love that it happened three times. <laughs> like... I was like, let me make something happen because, like, like, I knew you were going for, like, the like the higher fan, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do 5BB so I can get around it with Selicar. But, no, you know. You, you my... just gotta keep going with it. It's like when me and Cheap just did, like, 20 DPs in a row. Yeah. I wasn't even trying to, that wasn't even my intention. I was just like, I'll throw a single fan so in case he jumps, you know, whatever. And then like, if Wiz Cut is the first time, I was like, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> he did it again. And again. <laughs> Sakura rain down, though the bow be unshaken by a breeze most rest. Yeah, I'm gonna have to DQ just here. Is he still doing his loser bracket run? Yeah. He's... I mean, he's still got another set he needs to play. I'm looking at the bracket right now. Jeez. Yikes. Fuck! You didn't cross up that time! <laughs> Cause I can't press active switch. Oh god. <laughs> what is this fucking white combo? Oh! No! Oh. Me, dude. For not touching me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, what did you do? Oh no. The oh, I was gonna say Astro. <laughs> I know your weakness. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's out of it. He's too strong. Okay, okay, okay. What am I gonna do? No! Not far enough! That would've hit. <laughs> Forever didn't work anymore. <laughs> you found the right trajectory. <laughs> oh, Pog? On Pog? Oh, Wormt? So is this GFs? Well, we have to. We basically skipped like two matches. Are we just going yeah. straight into Grand Finals? I think we are because he's also got uh grand blue on deck too okay so i can't i can't hold this up for that long yeah 
which sucks, but I mean, that's how it goes. Yeah. It was a smaller bracket today, so like things moved a lot faster than usual on our end, but <laughs> those other games are probably on the same scheduling, so mm. unfortunate. Yeah, so, because otherwise we're going to be sitting here for another 15, 20 minutes at least. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't think anybody wants that. Yeah. So. They want to see more head-ass from my end, but no, I don't think anyone wants to see that. Okay, yeah. so yeah, it's Grand Finals, Scrub versus Massive. And Masive is in the loser's bracket. Loser side, yes. That is correct. Uh, I'm going Devin Mew. For sure. And Scrub not messing around this time. Going for his tried and true Ragnar Ruby. Yeah, he's in the big GFs. He says, I have no time for Seth 9 mini games. I'm going straight to the... Uh... What? What's a good name for this team? <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, he's he's the Blood Edge. She's a Rose. I don't know. Rose Edge. I mean, Tried and true. Rose Edge sounds like a cool name, but it's also edgy as hell. Dude, that's gonna be my new gamer tag. XXX Rose XX Edge XXX69. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Valstar 5A. Ah, oh, Scrub, you're a pussy. Um, yeah, anyway, exactly. <laughs> and this is what you get. You get opened up at the beginning of the match. No burst available too. Oh yeah, so bad. It's really good that combo drop because that knockdown was gonna some stuff. Still nice defense on the safe jump right there. Oh, getting hit with a counter his 2B right there. Mm. Ooh, unfortunately dropping the combo. Oh, the air to airs. Oh, just a little too far for the nightmare edge to hit. Oh, just to tell him that might be hitting. Try to DP, nothing. It's out of the corners. I think we're starting to see the turning of a phone steal right there. Planting the seeds. Ooh, yeah, not falling for the air to 146C. And Scrub, although looking a little bit behind, was able to play off of like, what seemed to just be like hobbling off his back foot, which is Ragnar, and not a lot of assist or first gauge available. And uh, winning the exchange. Getting the Mai down. You can take a damage. Going for that Maybe. weird reset. Yeah, that was. I didn't even see it, to be honest. <laughs> I saw the, like, I look away for a second to just uh, skip the outro, and I see, like, like a small wall of text. I'm like, okay, who's saying something? Oh, it's just Nightbot, uh, chilling Kai Ten books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nightbot knows what's up. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So, yeah, it didn't look too great in uh, Scrubs 3 at the beginning, but was able to just uh, stay composed and take it right back. So... Uh, I think Scrub is just getting a little more comfortable. Uh, was playing Seth Knight earlier. Can't escape from crossing yeah. bait. Shaking it off, getting it together. Oh, his cross up in a sandwich. Good block on the cross up, Blue. Good blocks on all of the oh, axes, no. which makes and gets a throw. What a turnaround. Oh, but again, no knockdown. Yeah, uh, what? I'm, Ruby 4P? <laughs> I'm not sure who got hit and who didn't. Oh, just a little oh my too gosh. far. Yeah, drop combos on both ends here, and they're in really pivotal situations where it can be some good knockdown Oki. Ooh, Sniper Ruby in the back. Oh my gosh, they are swinging. This is really hard to keep track of. Yeah, the longest is... shimmy in the world from Scrub there. <laughs> oh, call the tag. Oh, nice open up. Yeah, I might just have to sacrifice Ruby. Wow, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Yeah, I got the call of that burst, but just didn't have the proper combo. By a big Gauntlet Hades. And yeah, Yumi will be going down. It's just, wow, not um, a lack of consistency on both ends, but Scrub is able to, like, get the upper hand it, when it does tend that way. It's just, uh... Definitely oh scrapple here. God. What a trade confirm. Ooh, but it was a drop again? Where's oh. the Gala Hades? 
5C! It's the best 5C! Quarter swaps? <laughs> oh, a nice conversion, and that looks like it's gonna be game two. Looks like it, uh... Yeah, a bit of inconsistency on both ends, but when it comes to who's able to stabilize or kill a character first, it's been scrubbed. Uh, so that's really what's been the make or break for these matches so far. So scrub, on to my point. Yeah. We'll be up to Mesa to get three games back. Get ready. And, you know, I can definitely see Masive making this comeback. Honestly, it's just a little bit of tightening up because the neutral, the neutral has really been all over the place, but it's just a product of, like I said, the inconsistency on both ends. But if Masive is able to tighten it up, um, he'd definitely be a lot more threatening Oki, a bit more capitalization off of uh, the good situations that he is getting. So, let's see. It's all here. Ori haters do not want to see Masive reset the bracket. Ori Ori lovers, excuse me. Oh man, bait on VP. Oh yeah, oh, it's a throw. Classic. Will that kill? Not quite. Oh. That will oh, though. The classic. Show you my t sick Oki. All right. Well, as far as consistency and cleaning it up, it's definitely scrub. He is fully tuned in, getting all the mix ups. I say, he drops a combo and drops another combo. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll just. Nah, never mind. It's all good. <laughs> scrub taking WNF Online Edition Episode 17. And that was a clean 3 0. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, can we just, you know, oh, oh, well, okay. Be, be, before I get into banter, you know, good stuff to everybody, all seven of us. Cool tournament, cool show, good show. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys haven't already, you know, match arena link is in the chat. Be sure to donate that free 50 cents at least to the pot. It's probably going to be your last chance to do so. So use the code WNF, letter O17, DB tag, but. E30, come on. You were trying to give more swords. Do you see what's going on in your chat right now? <laughs> we don't need more swords here. Hmm. Sure. I'm telling you. A Wu got shot like 20 times in two seconds. I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, he was asking for it. <sighs> what did he do? Um. He just built a PC. Why, why do you got to shoot him? I mean, you gotta, you gotta make sure the PC works. Kyo, yeah. chill! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, I'm Kyo! Kyo! Oh my god! You gotta take his, you gotta take his sword away. you 30. You did this. Like, you wanna call Kyo, but you did this. <laughs> I'm trying to be the rational sword bearer here, man. I'm trying to reform the E30 moderation team. I don't know what I can do about it. I feel outnumbered. <laughs> All right, but thank you all for watching WNF Online Edition BB Tag Episode 17. It's been 17 of them, you know. Um, maybe some more to come, just given where everything is uh, going. So hope you guys are all well. Hope you guys are all staying safe. And um, yeah, don't know where the world is going, but we'll always be here every Wednesday holding it down next week, PS4. So make sure you don't miss that. Uh, but even before that, hey, this Friday, Friday, what's happening? What's happening? On this channel. Don't don't leave, you know, don't change that dial. Stay here for another 48 hours because we will have a nice exhibition underway with uh not SoCal, California versus Vegas in the Cross Raiders exhibition. Let me see who we got here. We got Neanderthal. Uh, purple sub <laughs> twitch.tv <laughs> Guzman Gaming 1 Ask Beater 420 Lord Joseph Dong <laughs> Best Teddy NA Redacted <laughs> Kiyomi <laughs> Yo Fave Commentator and uh, Monkey4012 Illuminati Specialist himself I forgot a woo I said a woo that's sure? Redacted <laughs> oh okay okay Oh, yeah, he got shot. Yeah, he's been shot a million times. That is redacted. 
<laughs> going up against a Rio, Pipe Fox, Mel Clack Clack, one, two, three, that lit mid in my key. Moon Mattel 32, Jeff Boyardee, Kiso Guy, Verfortuoso, and Zamurai Chris. So be sure to tune in. Again, this Friday, 7 p.m. right here. Just stay at your seat for it's not 48 hours, it's just 46 hours, and you'll have a great exhibition underway. Yeah. So yeah, again, July 17th, 7 p.m. California. Even though SoCal claims, you know, all of California at this point, versus Nevada, 7 p.m., it'll be hosted here. So, hope to see you all there. Any uh, closing statements from you guys? Um, it will be on PS4, correct? Yeah, yeah. And yes, it would be 7 p.m., as stated plenty of times by uh, Atkins already. So, uh, looking forward to that. I will be commentating. Uh, we also have, uh, let me see. Like Yuri Kuma? Yuri Kuma LV, who will be providing commentary from Nevada's side. So, unbiased, one for each. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll definitely be, um, it'll definitely be a treat to commentate the, this exhibition. So I look forward to it. And I look forward, and I'm sure the players are looking forward to it too. Mm-hmm. This has been um, this has been an event that's been uh, been coming into fruition for about I would say like like two three weeks, maybe four. So we've all been like working on it, just uh, you know, nominating players, just making sure, uh, coordinating everything. So yeah, um, a lot excited. We've been thinking about this for a while. So yeah, I hope to see you all there. Also, I do want to say uh. Shoutouts to uh, Mr. Zenhead, who provided the uh, poster for us. Yes, sir. For the event. Uh, you can follow him at, at Mr. Zenhead on Twitter. And, uh, yeah. Wanted, wanted to be sure to uh, give credit where credit is due there as well. Yeah. Cool. Anything from you, Atkins, or Shrub? Uh, no, not really. Not right. really. Oh. As always, this has been Wednesday Night Fights Online Episode 17. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, hope to catch you all next week for um, Episode 18. Episode 18 will be on PS4 at this time. So Correct. any P PS4 people that are interested in joining, that are a part of the eligible regions, please consider. And yeah, thanks again, everyone. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and... Shout out to Shout the Bird Gang. <laughs>